Hey everybody, it's Jane from Norman S. Wright. We're going to continue on with our control terminology, and I thought this would be a good one to follow last week's video on dead bands. So this week I'm going to answer the question, what is hysteresis? Let's get started. So what is hysteresis? What's well, a property of a system where an output value is not a strict function of the corresponding input, but rather it incorporates some lag delay or history dependence, in particular when the response for a decrease in the input variable is different from the response for the increase in that same variable. So it's easier if I draw it for you. Hysteresis looks kind of like this. Basically, as A increases, B increases along this curve, but then when A decreases, B decreases along this other curve. So they're not just right on top of each other. There's a lag in the output of B when the A decreases compared to when it increased. So let's talk about this more specifically. Where do we see hysteresis in HVAC systems? Well, let's start with the old pneumatic systems. When a pneumatic thermostat signal increases, the controller CFM increases like this bottom curve, but when the thermostat signal decreases, it follows this top curve back down. So for example, if you have 11 PSI signal, it may be 500 CFM if the signal is increasing, but 1000 CFM if that same signal is decreasing. Another place that we see hysteresis is in the wax pills that actuate thermally controlled DAB diffusers. These wax actuators actuate the damper by expanding and contracting. And there's a difference in the response time for the expansion and contraction as it heats up and cools down, so there'll be a hysteresis controlled by the different blends of the wax. And another place we see hysteresis is in thermostats that use a lag in reacting to space temperature. For instance, let's say that the set point is 72 degrees and the space temperature is 73 degrees. It may not send a cooling signal until it gets to 74 degrees, and it may keep cooling the space until it gets to 71 degrees. So there's a delay from the 72 degrees to the 73 degrees before it even sends a cooling signal. The dead band is a programmed hysteresis that keeps your system from cycling on and off. This saves energy and it's also better for your HVAC equipment to not cycle on and off. So that's a quick overview of hysteresis and where we see it in HVAC systems. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And thanks for watching.